the top. But still, we are ready to start. And to do so, we will now hear from the President of the Provincial Council of Kipuzkoa, Mr. Marke Lorano, for the official opening. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning. I want to start with acknowledgments. I want to thank all of you who are here uh, for this event for the next couple of days. I must say, I feel very happy seeing a f room full of people, a successful call for this event, for this leading challenge in our industrial sector and in our territory, in our province. A challenge that needs us all to share knowledge, uh, to share experiences, mm. and that's what we're just about to do. I also want to thank particularly the international speakers uh, coming from afar, together with speakers, local speakers. I would like to express how uh, in the provincial government of Gipuzkoa we've been making a, a huge effort so we can better meet this challenge uh, in this ever-changing environment. We need to face uh, the main challenges, uh, have uh, a hierarchy of what to tackle when, and a good response uh, to all these challenges are the secret for us uh, to build a better future for Gipuzkoa. That's the title of our program in Basque, Etorkis uh, Building a Better Future. We want uh, to be pioneers uh, with experimentation, with cooperation and collaboration to better face the challenge in society right now. Uh, challenges like cybersecurity, aging, the future of the Basque language, striking a good work-life balance, uh, our local gastronomy, and so on. We have a short list then of challenges that we want to tackle. I'm doing so uh, with ambition so we can benefit uh, our community uh, with more well being. How? With academia, public institutions, uh, private companies. We need to work together. Networking is basic uh, for success. The top-down approach uh, cannot possibly work in this field. We need to collaborate uh, for a very, very important objective, the future of our territory, Gipuzkoa, and our citizens. I very much hope you find the program today and tomorrow fruitful and interesting so that the industrial fabric in Gipuzkoa, the cybersecurity firms uh, in Gipuzkoa, and so that our public programs are better known and more successful. We know that the industrial sector uh, is uh, working hard to face the challenge of digitization and uh, security, and uh, more and more, uh, they are digital firms in a territory where 27% of our GDP and one out of three jobs uh, are located in the industrial sector. Because of that, cybersecurity is a challenge uh, which is paramount uh, for competitiveness and the future of our economy. We should uh, first understand uh, that we are a leading territory in the field of cybersecurity because of private firms, uh, technology centers, uh, academia, and startups uh, with high technologies uh, that uh, now have a good market share thanks to their hard work and creativity. I also want to at least mention our uh, efforts in education, training, and vocational training in particular for cybersecurity. Some 84% of Gipuzkoan companies have production systems and equipment connected to the web, but only one out of three uh, have 
a cybersecurity protocol, uh, although uh, one out of three uh, say that they've been attacked uh, in the last year. We understand uh, that uh, there is a moderate, at least, risk of cyber attacks, uh, which is not science fiction uh, for our companies. It's a growing challenge uh, that we need to face uh, to be able to guarantee productivity and competitiveness uh, for our companies. So uh, the, there's no negative impact, because uh, we need to make the most of uh, our possibilities uh, make the most of uh, our cutting edge firms. We need uh, to invest in cyber security so we can also generate new wealth in this sector and so that our industrial companies uh, can be uh, at the leading, uh, at the forefront for cyber security. How do we envisage the future of the cybersecurity industry? Well, uh, as public institutions, the, pro the provincial government wants to uh, help as much as possible. And good evidence of that is the SIUR Cybersecurity Center. It will open in the Suatsu uh, Business Park uh, in the second half of this year. It's a uh, public initiative, uh, both from the local council and the provincial co council, because we want to help that field, that economic sector. Just to prove it, 1.5 million euros will be contributed by the provincial government for the SIUR center. So we can generate uh, advanced knowledge and it can help make the most of what we already have in our territory in the field of cybersecurity for talent and knowledge that's already here with us uh, to be made the most of. And how? Well, once again, good collaboration between public institutions, private companies, and our innovation and knowledge network. Collaboration uh, is paramount for us to be able to face uh, our future challenges. After that, uh, I just want to make a call for uh, all your collaboration and participation in this field and uh, for this event, for this conference. We hope uh, this is an interactive meeting where we can have plenty of feedback from you, where we can hear your voice with questions or comments, because this is a, a journey we should all cover together so we can guarantee not just the future of our industry but also the future of Kipuska and its citizens. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.